Hey everybody, it's Jason Bloha here, and I had a subscriber ask me a question that I thought was a little unusual at first, and so I had to dig a little further to find out what they wanted. But this individual had asked me, hey, are the quads, for those who don't know what that means, the quadriceps, the front of the thigh, the primary movers at the bottom of a deadlift, getting the weight started? And uh, what he really wanted to know was, because he feels a little weaker off the floor getting the weight started, is the hardest for him could doing more quad work improve that and uh, what i want to let that person know is that actually getting the weight started on the conventional deadlift is the hardest part for virtually everyone for 80 to 90 percent of lifters that is their weak spot now to answer the question further of uh, what is the actual primary movers there the most important muscles uh, that you need strongest to get it moving off the floor. Actually, it's going to be every muscle in your body involved in the deadlift, but the ones that are going to matter the most there are going to be the glutes and the hamstring secondary. So accordingly, if you want to work on that a little bit, those are the muscles you need to work the most. What would I recommend personally for accessories for that? Uh, glute ham raises, and if you can get stronger to do them weighted, even better weighted glute ham raises, and Romanian deadlifts. Now, furthermore, on top of that, the start of the deadlift, it's actually, there's a lot more to it involving your speed strength and uh, specificity of training. So I would actually recommend to get started even faster would be to cut out anything that gives accommodating resistance or reduces range of motion. So if you're doing accessory work at the moment that involves either doing chains or bands on the deadlift, or you're pulling off of blocks or doing rack pulls, you need to cut those out. That is part of the reason you're struggling off the floor. So you need to remove those from your training and replace any of them you're doing with deficit deadlifts from anywhere from a two to three inch deficit, which can be done a lot of different ways. You can do them uh, standing on plates. You can do them standing up on a board that you put there, blocks, whatever it takes. Sometimes there are even special platforms that you can use to do that. But that's what you need to do. You need to do deficit deadlifts until you feel like you get more explosive out of the bottom, until you can basically do close to within 95% or more of your normal maxes for even the same number of reps. It could be your five rep max, your three rep max, whatever it happens to be uh, from a three inch deficit. Then you know you have improved off the floor. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.